My name is Anuradha Rathod. I am ex student of SKSN. I am studying to be a doctor. My name is Nani Chaudhary. I was in SKSN and I am in the university program. I am a teacher. My name is Avtar Singh Bhatti. I am in SKSN. I am in class of 2004. My name is Karam Singh. I am in SKSN. I am in SKSN. My name is Papu Ram Vishnu. I am in SKSN. I am in SKSN. I am learning the building of VTC. My name is Raj Kaur. I am a student of SKSM. I am a student of VTC. I am a student of VTC. Hi, my name is Arun Patel, Chairman of Polio Children, a UK and US registered charity. Some five years ago, when I first came to Jodhpur, I did not come to see the fort, nor the palace, or the blue city for which Jodhpur is so famous for. Instead, I came to see a school for physically disabled children called SKSN. When I set my eyes on the school, I realized a lot needed to be done. Food was scarce, electricity was erratic, regular running water supply was inadequate, the students studied and slept in the same rooms, and there was no scope for further education. Basic essentials for any kid. Five years on, let us see how much help has polio children been to the kids of SKSN. The VTC program is a huge success. It is work experience for these kids, not just in the classroom, but actually in the place where the work is carried out. This program is different in many ways. And one of the main difference is that at a very young age, child gets to know how life is outside SKSN in the real world. Because our disabled children from SKSN will be working in an environment primarily operated by the mainstream society, which is all able-bodied, we are creating a situation where there is interaction between our disabled children and the able-bodied employers, co-workers, with the result that the outlook of the able-bodied towards disabled children will change forever. They will see these children as partners, as co-workers, rather than someone who is just standing by the streets begging for help. It is very important for these children to come out of a sheltered environment of SKSN if they are going to be successful in the trade that they want to pursue. What the VTC program is doing is putting them on a fast track towards our ultimate aim, which is to absorb them in the mainstream society. Almost all the girls were prepared to learn more, which was not easily recognizable in a classroom of 40 children if they were studying any subject. Whereas here, for example, in the, in the tailoring department, most of the girls wanted to know how to cut the cloth first, which is the most difficult part. I believe that these kids will blossom. For these kids, it's a huge leap from mere academic education of the subject to actually doing it. If it's a disabled boy or a disabled girl in the society, normally that person is right at the bottom of the family. If it's a girl, in fact, she's almost like she shouldn't exist anyway. For a disabled boy, or more importantly, a disabled girl, then to have an education which would ensure employment, and which means that they will be of some, if not a major economic value in the family, we have actually turned the whole table upside down, with the disabled boy or girl being the prime breadwinner, and be occupying a fairly prominent place in the family. Thank you. Thank you. 
I learned at SKS there was no system to take children from the 12th grade to finish the university. So there was a bridge we had to cross over from the 12th to the university when there was nothing in place for them. Once they've had that qualification, life was carved out for them very well. After the first batch of children who left 12th grade managed to have a taste of university, the other children followed them. When I looked at the circumstances, I said to my fellow trustees, if we manage to get four children out of this to university within the next four or five years, we would have done very well. I think we have given university education to over 50 children so far. And currently we are having 32 of them in university, with at least, I believe, 22 of them uh, more or less a guaranteed employment once they finish their education. The class of 2004 was given more prominence. It was polio children's belief that no child who is poor and crawling should be turned away from the school. The school, if at all, was meant more for them. These are the children who actually needed help most and SKSN was the right place to be for them. I saw these children actually um, doing the entire chore from getting up, uh, having a wash, cleaning their own clothes and then drying that up, all done by themselves individually. Now this sort of self-esteem that breeds into them, this sort of uh, self-reliance that they have managed to progress towards uh, would not have been possible even if they were at SKSN but not separated from the other kids with lesser disabilities than them. I've seen them dressing up with a bit more flair and dignity. They have more uh, belief in themselves. Uh, they do not take a back seat. I've seen them talking to their teachers uh, with much more confidence. I've seen them grow more than the other children. Anuradha, who is training to be a doctor, she 